Let's watch how a modern bedroom should be styled. This bedroom had a typical layout with a bed in the middle, making it super cramped. Alice could barely fit her desk at the foot of the bed. The poor girl had nowhere to put her growing pile of stuff. So Emily decided to overhaul the whole thing. First, she built a bed frame from galvanized steel, borrowing some cash from her aunt for expansion screws to secure it to the wall. She covered it with eco-friendly wood veneer, added a breathable slatted frame, threw on a mattress, and boom, instant bed. Then she made a cool arch shape with plaster boards, dividing the room with some privacy. Emily also built a thin side cabinet for Alice's toys, installed a folding window for quick privacy, and added a spot by the door for keys and bags. Next, she made steps with drawers for easy access to Alice's stuff, including socks and boxes. She put a low cabinet next to the bed for study books and extended it upwards to create a high cabinet for Alice's branded bags and extra storage. To make the bed cozier, Emily added soft cushions. She even dug a hole in the wall to install a switch socket and some shelves for Alice's bedtime essentials. A hole in the ceiling was perfect for a projector, turning the bed area into a mini cinema. A gauze curtain was added to hide any bed mess and give a stylish touch. There was plenty of space for shoeboxes, off-season quilts, and Alice's fabulous wardrobe, including long skirts, make a huge, super invincible desk by the window, extending all the way to the window for maximum space. Now the desktop is way more spacious. Parents can join in. One effort, one reward. It's better than studying alone. Books are neatly arranged on the wall next to it, and a small blackboard hangs at the end to spark Alice's creativity. This bedroom now has tons of storage space and a roomy wardrobe. The private area and study area are super functional. It's like a tadpole transforming into a frog. Absolutely the best.